Okay, let's try it out, Albert. Will it detect you? Do you have static electricity or voltage? No. Oh, but this wire does. This wire has voltage. It's a voltage detector. Hello and welcome to hack number 25. Uh, one more transistor project. Had to do just one more. This is the last week I'm in this shop. I'm moving to a new location where I'll be working from a shop inside the house. That's JFET. Yeah. Hey JFET. He, uh, he wants to get in this week's video too, I guess. But this is a nifty little circuit, really simple to build and kind of fun because you can put it near uh, a wire with voltage and the LED will light up. I'll show you a little bit to a closer view of that here in a second. It'll detect people too. Cool. You know, I thought it might be fun to try it on the cat. What's it do on the cat? Oh, cat fur. Cat fur has lots of static electricity and and uh, some kind of charge. It's a cat detector. Let's try it on an outlet. Okay, here's a power strip with a uh, transformer plugged into it. Let's see what we get here. Oh, see the light comes on when it's near the wire, so it's picking up that. Let's try it on an outlet uh, over here on the wall. Outlet. Let's try it. Yep, got to get it kind of close to it, but sure enough, you can tell if an outlet's live just by holding the copper strip near the outlet or the transformer. And you can actually trace the transformer wire. Let's try it down here. Yep, there's my battery charger. Pretty much anything with uh, a voltage, once you get it close to it. Pretty cool. Let's try the cat one more time. Yep, cat detector. <laughs> How about a Tesla detector? Nikola? Whoa, Nikola's got some charge. How about that? All right, let's uh, take a look at it up close here on the, on the breadboard. Here's the sensor, which is just a copper strip. And that goes to the base of the first transistor, three NPN transistors, all running from a 9-volt uh, power supply right there. And uh, the way it works is the output from each transistor, basically, this, is, this signal is getting amplified by the first one. It runs into the base of the second one, runs out the emitter from that one to the base of the third one, and so on until it gets to the LED. So by the time it gets over here, it's amplified everything by about a million times. Uh, it's a pretty simple one to build. It's kind of fun too because you can run around and you can actually turn this into a nifty little tool to see if there's voltage on a circuit or on an outlet without actually probing the wires. Here's the schematic. Pretty simple one. There's the copper strip or you can just use a piece of wire, maybe a piece of metal. Experiment! Try a big piece of aluminum foil. Take it outside and see what happens. Uh, the input there goes to the base of that transistor, the collector through a 1 mega ohm resistor, 2 6 volts, the emitter, the output of the first one, to the base of the second one. This collector has a 100K, and then it comes out the emitter to this one, to the base of the third one. This collector has a 220 ohm resistor, and then the final output, this emitter, uh, goes to the negative side of the battery because it's an NPN. And then there's the LED that lights up once that little bitty signal comes and gets all the way through all three of these transistors. So uh, pretty, pretty, pretty simple, simple, simple. Build one. Have some fun with it. And um, I'm going to be busy moving all week. Seamus is moving. Everything moving. All this stuff has to move. The next hack a week will be coming from the new place. Uh, I've got a little bit different setup there. I got a nice room I can have set up for my workshop for the winter time, which is heated. This garage is not heated. So that's one bonus about moving. And it's also to a nice town with lots of really cool people. And I'm closer to my new job, which I really love. So I look forward to producing more hacks at this new place. And the next one coming up is, uh, let's see, that'll be the halfway point. So the one at the new place, 
is halfway through the year. How about that? I'll have to come up with a good one for that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little simple one and all these transistor projects I've done recently. Now I'm going to move on to some different things because I think we've all had enough of transistors, even though they're lots of fun to play with. So be sure to check out... Whoops, there's Seamus bumping into me. Be sure to check out some of those links that I posted in the previous uh, videos. Lots of cool stuff about transistors and you'll learn all about them. And I encourage you to play around with them, experiment, try different resistor values, see how things work out. Um, it's all about just trying different components with electronics. You know, you can go by the schematic, but you can also play around, and it's okay to do that and see what happens. You might learn something along the way. So until next time, keep on hacking. I'm going to go look for some more voltage with this thing now. Let's see, what else can we test here? Hmm.